Hey guys and girls, White Ninja Art here today bringing you The Flame and the Flood. Um, so it's a survival game, a little bit like Don't Starve, or I like to see it a bit like uh, How to Survive. <clears throat> if you haven't played that, it's a zombie game, but it has the same principles and sort of concepts, apart from um, you are not on, you don't travel to little small islands, but um, quite an interesting game. I've played two runs. The first run I died in about 15 minutes, the second run I got a little bit further. Um, and I think I got to day 9 before I end up dying. So I'm going to start a new campaign. Um, lose all my progress, not cares. We're going to go on Traveller because I can't complete Traveller so I'm not going to do anything more. <clears throat> so this is our dog. Um, I can't remember what his name is, e Estro or something, I can't remember what his name is exactly. And basically he brings you a bag, he becomes your new companion. Uh, and in this bag is a radio, so basically you got to look for the, uh, the signal. Okay, so, the first section of the game is sort of um, the same, you basically have little points, you have sections like this, tell you about different sections, about your resistances, your cold, uh, stuff like that, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, your dog helps you out and uh, makes you look for different things is pretty cool um, so then that crow there if you don't um, frighten away the wolves um, and then uh, so frighten away the crows and it'll bring wolves into you um, <coughs> which is not cool wolves are not cool in this I died in the first game by getting hit by a wolf um, so I'm just going to quickly go through all these uh, billboards if you haven't seen them already just pause the video and just have a quick look back um, just so you can see what's happening so these are like little quest sections so throughout the game you get these little sections and basically what they do is um, generate uh, little quests uh, which are these and by completing each quest you will get a particular uh, item skills or whatever um, I'm not that far so I'm not too sure but um, so basic tools so craft a stone knife and hammer and you'll get a free campfire a radio signal get the radio to work and you get some craft schematics um, <coughs> so different things will, you can craft with um, I'll go through all this as I progress to the next island because at the minute I don't really have too many things so it's a bit pointless and um, so the whole point of this game is you go to each island you loot the island and then you progress and move on to the next island um, with progression of your craft you craft your raft So I must say this game is absolutely beautiful, like the um, the graphics on it are fantastic and even the music actually, the music is really um, subtle, it's not too much it's, and not too little really, it, it, they've got had a nice combination. Um, so the way this works is you um, go through each stage and I believe there's 10 stages, um, I don't know, ooh, um, which progress you further and further and gives you different things. I don't know if you can just rush to the end actually, I didn't think about that. Maybe you can just rush all the way to the end. Um, but you come up to these stages and each stage sort of begins with a rapid area so I don't know if it'll do it because I've done it before but um, as you get to a stage it'll say um, I don't know, region 1 and then when you get to the next stage it'll be region 2 etc etc. So each stage is like a completion um, for progression I suppose. Um, so as you oh, oh, close. So as you progress, progress down, um, little markers will come up. So as you can see, entering one, there you go, region one. Uh, so as you progress down the river, there should be little markers pop up very soon to show me um, areas I can go. So different ones will be like wilderness or um, campsite. So there you go, there's the first one. So that's the woods, so it's wilderness. Um, as you'll just see there, there's a little basket if you actually loot them by pressing A. Um, I'm using controller guys, so I loot them as you pass them and um, get yourself some freebies. Right, so I'm going to go this way. So use the X button to uh, shimmy across the water um, to be able to actually go and collect them, um, to move your raft. 
um, and get yourself into your docking to do your station where you want to go. So you go up to the station, your docks, and you press A to, to jump on. Um, simple enough, you just follow the online instructions. So this way you need to be careful because in some of these beginning islands, um, there are wolves, um, which really, really do just triple you at the start. So you need to be careful. <coughs> So, uh, we got quite lucky actually because cattails is really, really important at the start. Uh, problem is we need to get some flint as well because we need to make a knife, um, which is really important. So, um, to do that we need to find some flint. Uh, alcohol, nuts and bolts is pretty good as well. Uh, so then rabbits you can actually capture, you need to make a, a craft, some crafting for it, but I'll go through that shortly. Uh, I'm gonna see what's on the island first and see what I can come up with. Okay, so it doesn't look like there's any dangers, so that's good. Some more nuts and bolts, raft crafting. Uh, don't really need that until later. Um, okay, so we'll quickly go into this while I'm here. So we've run out of space, but you can uh, ace up. I think his name is. Uh, so you can actually uh, move stuff to your dog. So you just click on it and click move. So and I just drop it on the floor. But you can pick stuff up if you drop it on the floor. So um, that's not a problem. Uh, gas bomb. I think this could be more nuts and bolts to be honest. Oh, empty. Cheap skates. Okay. So I think I've pretty much looted this area, which is a shame. Okay, so at the start it is all actually ran randomly generated after the first island. Um, everything that you pick up is pretty much go for it. So the first thing I'm going to do is use my jar which I can pick up water with. Um, so by doing that it's given me a new schematic as you can see on the right hand side there. So I picked up polluted water. But if I go into my crafting section, uh, just here you can see on the left hand side there's different sections where you can actually make new things um, so you can click on all if you want and go through the all the all section or if you know what you want just go through each section so I'm gonna um, build or make some clean water because I'm gonna need it because it's, it's quite important um, but as well as that um, braided cord so rope basically but it's really important once you see um, uh, a few you don't to get more and more you can actually start building things um, so I won't use them all but I will use a few uh, I'll also get some tinder because these are good for making uh, fires so I think I'll just get two of these right, okay so we've got ourselves some traps as you've seen there so if you hold um, left trigger uh, you can actually go through oh, I can't put some traps I haven't created any of dirt. Uh, so you can create traps now as you can see. Now I've got a bow here which I didn't actually uh, build last time but um, you need a steel knife so to be able to do that you need to get uh, different things. So I need a stone knife to be able to create a snare blah 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 so the more and more stuff you um, pick up the more things you can actually create. So to be able to create a stone knife I believe you need flint. Yeah some flint. So I've got braided cord so I need two pieces of flint. So unfortunately at the minute I can't actually um, get anything until I get flint so that's one of the most important. Thin gloves, wow okay, Never didn't get this last time. Um, so, <coughs> so alcohol is really important as well because it's uh, needed for bandages uh, in case you get hit by things which is really important. I think I'll equip them gloves now if I've got them. Where are they? There they are. So that's actually a really good start on warmth, which is actually really surprising. I don't know, I don't even know if it shows them wearing them. No, it doesn't, that's a shame. Okay, so we looted that area, we couldn't build any traps because we didn't have any flint to make a knife. So it's important to try and get a flint as fast as possible. So the campsites are actually really really good source for flint so i'm gonna try and get to this campsite just here however i don't know if i'll be able to reach it so um, i will try my very best let my energy build up yeah i'll be able to get that i think now the church on the left that's more for healing and i think you get health and bandages and things like that however i think flint at this moment of time is much much more important um, so I'm hoping there's no walls on this section either, otherwise this is going to make it really difficult. <coughs> um, right, 
So you, as you can see here, there's little uh, boxes. Uh, so mold and lump, okay. Um, just make sure you loot them all, and there's some flints, which is now the inventory's full. Okay, so I need to get rid of some of these, we'll give that in. Um, some items do stack and some items don't, so keep that in mind when you are actually doing it. Um, <clears throat> but I'm guessing in this area, a lot of the things I pick up might be the same that I've stuck already got. Apart from that, brilliant. Okay, so what I might do here is come back to those. Okay, so <clears throat> um, as you go around and collect stuff, you'll see these things on the floor. Uh, different things will cause different um, symptoms, so do be careful when you're just running around. Um, there are some that gives you poison and things like that, um, which can become really annoying. Alright, can I actually... No, right, I can't switch out, so... Uh, if I nip to the raft, I can put a few things in. Um, Probably better to go to a raft first and come back and loot, otherwise, I'm going to be back and forth. It's like yo yo. Right. So, just to, to put stuff into your raft, just come to your raft, don't press A like I did once and leave the area. Uh, so, press Y um, and then you can come to your raft and you can move the stuff that you need to. Um, normally, stuff that you're not going to use, so stuff like um, alcohol, you probably don't need straight away. Um, Rags you probably will use, um, water you don't need normally all, all the time, um, that I'm not going to need, nuts and bolts probably not, mouldy lump comes in, depend on penicillin, it, uh, pellet, penicillin, thank you, right, it's actually really important um, later on, especially if you get um, hit by a wolf and you can't cure it, <coughs> um, it becomes a major, major problem. Okay, so we have a nice bit of space now to go and uh, collect all this. So yeah, so if it does become a problem, you can't cure certain diseases. They do transform into different diseases, which then means you can cure them. Um, <clears throat> but certain diseases will cause death. Like uh, in my last game, I got bit by a snake, um, and I couldn't get the requirements to um, to cure it, and it basically just simply killed me. Old lumber, nice patch for a pen, schematic. I can't remember what I didn't leave over here. Let's have a look. Yeah, so, get some dandelions. So, you make some dandelion tea. There we go. I think that's majority all of it. Maybe something in here. I can't remember. Yeah, no, no, lovely. Right, so, I can build pen penicillin. Bloody hell. Which is really important, which I'm going to do straight away. Um, and <coughs> I'm hoping I've got enough flint as well. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so at fires, you can build certain um, items and things you can't build um, out your backpack normally. Uh, I uh, So, penicillin for one of them, so I'm going to create that. Wait, if I had enough for my main inventory. God damn it. Okay, uh, move that there as well. Alright, let's see if I can create anything else. Uh, I can create a campfire, but pretty pointless. Um, don't really need it yet. Uh, let's see. There must be... How many flints do I have? One. Brilliant. Right, okay. So I can't build anything else yet, because I need a second bit of flint. So for now, I'm just going to leave. I'm going to take the charcoal with me. I can't remember exactly... Oh, charcoals to make filters. Um, so because I won't need this again, I'll never come back to it. Take the charcoal. Um... You can sleep, but I'm not too tired yet, so I'm just going to keep going. If I need to sleep, I will do, but it should be alright for now, I think. I think what I might do is uh, make every uh, episode about 20 minutes. Um, see how far I get um, on each one, because obviously this game is totally random, so it's going to be different every playthrough. Oh, oh that wasn't good so if you crash into stuff you actually lose oh that was cheap you lose um life or uh raft life i suppose at the bottom so that's a bit shit right so fishmongers i don't think i've been to the fish market yet and i don't want to go that way oh i'm, I'm so dead Oof, that was close um so i just picked up penicillin before if anyone didn't see that um, which is actually really good because it's actually quite hard to come by so that's pretty nice 
So I'm going to go to this one here, which is fish market maybe? I don't know. I don't think I've been to this one yet. Bait and tackle. So it often has fishing lines, hooks and shelters. Okay, so that's pretty nice. So what I might do before I leave is... Uh, ah. Right, yes. So this is something I forgot to um, show you before. So when you actually craft, if you actually craft by your raft, anything that's in your raft you can use as crafting material, um, which is really useful. Move that to raft. Move that to raft. Move that to raft as well. Um, that can go to the raft. Trying to see which ones are the same is a nightmare. With the bag. Um, move to raft. Move to raft. Yes. Looks good. Okay, so we have plenty of room now, so that's good. So one of the first things you want to try and do is actually expand your bag. Um, I mean, I think you need... Um, why is he why is he barking? I wonder if you can get a shovel. Um so one of the first things you need is to expand your bag because you get so much stuff and sometimes you just can't carry it all, so fish hook's nice, so you can make some different things for that. Which is lovely. Uh so stitching kit, which is really, really important. So I'm gonna loot that jar and I'm I'm gonna sleep now just while I've got a chance. So every time you sleep you actually lose health and water or hydration. And I've only just managed to wake up when it's night and raining, for God's sake. Right, so this isn't too good. Um, so, uh, it's so when you get wet, it, it causes, I can't remember what it causes, actually. Uh, slow clearing in the wild, wind, the clothes. So basically, you've got to dry off, otherwise it causes a massive problem. So I'll do that when I next move to the next place. Um, otherwise, I'm just going to spend all my time trying to heal through it. So my thirst is getting quite low, um, so it might be worth me actually drinking this, which is 50 hydration, so I'll do it when I get to the next place so I don't waste any. Probably would have been a good idea just to, to uh, go past this rain, but to be fair, it's just wasting all the, um, all the hydration of my food, which I don't have any of yet. Um, so I'm going to go here and I'm going to try and get straight to that campsite, but I don't know if I'll be able to reach. So this is a um, station to repair your uh, raft and upgrade it. But you also get gas as well, which I'm not sure what the gas does yet. So that's something I need to actually look into. But this is where you can upgrade your raft. So your raft has different things, I suppose, that you can do. Um, so if you need to repair, which I'm not going to repair yet, but... Uh, like rudder, uh, rudder motor, so I'm guessing that's what the rudder motor is for, so maybe easier turn and things like that. But <coughs> coming back, going to uh, raft hardware and stuff like that is actually quite difficult to come by, especially early. Um, but I think, if anything, I'm just going to go for this, which I actually got all the pieces for, but I couldn't find the, the raft centre before I, before I died, so I just sort of had to leave it, which is a bit of a shame. Um, so I just had to go with it. Um, so I can't do anything yet, but that's basically what this one does and that a bugged out there i'm hoping it puts me on the right side but i don't think it will i think it's gonna push me on the left oh it has come on nice oh it's on the other side oh well never mind right so i missed that so i'm gonna try and go this way come on oh no it's not gonna let me so you run out of energy um which makes you hold your turn and in this case I missed it, so that's not good. So I will not be able to go back up the river. Oh, if you didn't know, you can't go back up the river. However, I did sort of bug it before where I got hit by something. And it did make me um, go back, like start going back up the river, but it made me turn back around, so. Um, yeah. So when you actually control the raft, it's actually quite hard. Um, it's a bit weird, actually, because... Oh, it's free loot there. Um, because of the angle that it pushes you in, um, it, you have to sort of go with the flow of the river. So if you don't, it's, it sort of makes you go a bit funny. Right, so I want the campsite. Oh, I might be able to both of these actually. Um, 
Okay, yeah, I must be able to get both of these. So it's got light supplies here, which will be useful because I need a few things. Flint, ideally. Right, so uh, I've got thirst now, so I'm gonna I'm gonna quench my thirst, which I'm gonna to a doctor. Um, so move it by assume. I think I heard wolves then as well, which is not cool. So uh, I need to get some health, which I can't yet because I don't have a freaking knife. Um, I'll consume that, get a little bit of life back, and I will move to raft. Move to raft. Move to raft. Okay, so that's gave me some nice slots. Look, anyway, so that's good. Okay, so I need to um, hopefully not find wolves, which I found of. Oh, God's sake. Okay, so because of how um, far behind I am, I don't think I'm going to be able to salvage this area. However, um, so it's really risky. So what you can do is you can create a torch, which means you can run around. Uh, however, if I run around with a torch and there's nothing to collect, it means I'm going to really, really do myself over. So I'll, so I'll give it a go. I hope to God that it will pays off. So wolves don't like fire, um, but it does attract snakes, so... Okay, so these are healing, so you have to keep an eye... Oh, there's a boar there. Okay, so the boars um, hit you really hard. Um, and luckily, they fight each other, which I did not know. So I'm just going to let them fight out while I quickly do all this and get on my way. Yes, got flint so I can get uh, everything I needed. So I got exactly what I wanted there. So them two are going to fight it out while I wander off. Um, okay. So I got, I got a little bit of stuff there. Um, Nothing special, but I don't want to hang around in case one of them kills each other, which means then I can't um, go and get the stuff I need. But I will be getting stone knife straight away, which should give me the option to build things like this. Which, by the way, kills boars and wolves. Uh, so I now have two traps. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place the two traps um, out and then lure them in. Um, so, <coughs> so the way this works is... You just place them on the floor, like this. So this will give me food and um, some other things, uh, like uh, hides, which is quite important. Right, okay, so that's easy enough. So what I need to do now is actually bait them in. Um, so that's the hardest bit. I don't know where they've gone, so... Do they just fight to the death or what? Oh, they actually might, which is cool. Right, okay, so this stuff there, that's poison ivy. You do not want to step on that. However, I wouldn't mind getting these so I can get the hides. Um, hmm. I don't know if they actually can kill each other. How did he miss? I might be better just putting a trap of beer and just making them come fight each other. Because um, I do need the meat off them. So that's one dead. Um, so okay. So this is gonna search for this. So I need to get this guy's attention. Come on. So you can basically make them run through it. Come on. What are you doing? There we go. Is it coming? Is it almost dead? I do not know what it is doing. I think I've scared.
looked at it. What the hell? Hmm. I think that bugged. It's meant to charge at me. Yeah, it's definitely bugged that. So the only thing I can think of doing is moving the trap further up. Well, this is an easy kill. <laughs> uh, so by killing the boy, you get different meats, ball hide, pants, etc. Um, which is really useful. What was that? I saw something there. Um, but you're also getting the meat and things like that, which is more important. Um, just to be able to craft certain things and get food and health and stuff like that, because I am starting to run out of health actually. To think of it, so um, so I need a fire, uh, which will give me the opportunity to make um, things. But I can now get boots and blah 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 stuff like that. So it's really cool. So the things I don't have is uh, a hat at the minute. Um, I don't have got gloves. Don't have a hat. So I think I get a ball hide, ball hide hat, um, which will give me insulation. And you can get insulated, insulated stuff as well but I think I'll just stick with a hat for now because it's easy enough. Quick that and it might actually put me enough to uh yeah it will put me enough so the cold doesn't bother me anymore. Okay so we've managed to get to day three on our first travel so I'm gonna stop the video here and um, so that's about 26 seven minute video and um, so that's a little start to the flame and the in the, sorry the flame in the flood um just sort of an introduction on how to play <coughs> some of the crafting um and sort of how it progresses so let's see how I get on over the next few days on it um, and hopefully I don't just die like I did last time um, but next time we'll probably get into things like uh, crafting uh, more so like meats and stuff like that and cooking um, and things like that because that's quite important and medicines and things um, there's no doubt I'll end up getting hit by something well guys I hope you enjoyed this episode and I'll see you next time for some more The Flame and the Flood <laughs>